Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be butchering us some quail. So we thought we'd make a video about that. We've got eight birds here that are either roosters or they haven't laid an egg yet. And seeing as how all the other birds that are the same age as these are laying, then either they're roosters or they ain't going to lay. So see so what we got to cage full here that's laying good there's some that's laying good and there's another cage but we've got these guys here the ones below and this rooster here that needs to go now this rooster here is quite mean actually he abuses the women quite horribly so uh, he's got to go <clears throat> excuse me and uh we had him in with some females there for a little while and he was pulling the feathers right off of them. He was rough on them, so he's got to go. He's gonna be dinner. But anyway, uh, just to let y'all know out there, we are gonna show some guts and such in this video. It's a graphic video in a sense if you don't like that sort of stuff. So go ahead and turn this video off if you ain't interested. If you go further than this, I've already warned you. And if you're interested in seeing how it's done and I'll show you how we do it and uh, you can take it from there, come up with your own way that's similar. And uh, usually you just find a rhythm and go along with it and find what works best for you. Stay tuned and we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, so we're out here. We've got our quail caught up in a little cage. And that's the best way to do it. Just get your little cage of some sort, catch them up all together. Then you just get in there and grab one out when you're ready to butcher it. Hopefully don't fly out on me. That does happen at times. Okay. okay. Right hand. I always want to work with my right hand, so I'll put the coil on my left hand. Now there's different ways to do this next part. Some people get a killing cone for a quail. Now we do use killing cones for our chickens, but I don't see it's necessary for a quail. Now if you ain't comfortable with holding the quail while it's bleeding out, then yeah, you need to get a killing cone. But for me, I don't have a problem with it because I know it's food for us, so it doesn't bother me. Now, uh, this is just a pair of good shears from harbor freight 10 bucks a pair can't beat the price for what they are good and sturdy and good and sharp cut through around the bone good and everything so so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to cut the quail's head off now you can do it there's actually some people that just takes grabs the head and yanks it off now i just soon cut it off as pull it off that's just me but everybody has their own way of doing it you know there ain't no right or wrong way as long as it's the job done but I just feel like by cutting its head off quick, it just ends its life quick and it don't have to suffer. So what we'll do, we we'll get got us a bucket here for our blood and our scraps. And uh, we'll go ahead and do this little job here. It's the worst part of it, but it has to be done in order to be able to get food out of them. So we we'll just put his head right here and then snip real quick. All right, so we got our blood out. Now, you just want to hold it until there's no more movement. Obviously, then you're ready to do the rest to it. Now, it makes it easier, in my opinion, if you hose it down a little bit, keep the feathers from flying all over the place. And you still want to have a little bit of that, but as long as you wet it down, it will make it a little bit easier. Now, I'll mention too, while I'm doing this, this is about the easiest thing you'll ever butcher. The way we do it now some people actually pluck the bird and keep the skin and all we don't do that we find that there really ain't that much meat past the breast and the legs so all we do is skin the bird cut the legs off and the breast off and literally everything else goes to the pigs now there's probably some people out there that think oh that's gonna hurt them pigs let me tell you i've been doing that for years I ain't never had a problem out none of my pigs so Apparently, there ain't nothing wrong with it. And 
also that's a good way to use your waist up something's getting some use out of it so first thing you want to do get right up here get right up here at the knee just cut that leg off and that'll make it easier to skin here in a minute you got your wings right here just cut them off where they join to the body Okay, now, next thing you do, just basically you want to tire the skin right here and just pull it off, kind of like pulling a coat off or something. And uh, so you'll get on down in here, there's the breast meat, and you see the legs there, so you can actually just, it's like taking a pair of breeches off, just basically just pull it off. Or I cut that foot off so it'll just pull right off there. Now you can pretty much see your meat there that you're going to harvest. Pull it back down good where you can see the seams. See where that leg is right there, where it connects. That's where we're going to cut the leg off. We'll just snip right up through there. There we go. There's your leg meat. We'll lay it to the side for now and I'll try to hose it off a little bit before I put it in the bowl there. Same thing on the other side, just look for that line right there. I have to peel that back a little more. Right. Should be good there. You ain't gotta be perfect to do this, guys. It don't take a whole lot of expertise, just a little bit of effort. And there's a learning curve to it, but it ain't that difficult. Like I said to me, this is about the easiest animal to do. Now, there's a line right through here. You can see it on both sides and it goes up through here and then you got this portion right in here i'm following my finger there all that you want to cut off that's just the breast itself so i find it easiest just start down here and snip a little bit don't go too deep because there's guts in there and just kind of easily go up the line there now i'll do that on both sides Now you can go kind of up the rest of the line I showed y'all. And you want to snip right there. There you go. And you can see kind of there's... There you go. Get right there. Now that part's done. Now you got to get up in here and pull the heart away a little bit. And you might have to snip just a little bit of muscles in there. There we go. It's basically freed up all but this slice side over here. There we go. Well, there's your breast. Now, granted, it ain't that big, but it really is tasty. And you butcher several several of them up at a time, it makes a good meal. And what we're going to do is we're going to hose these off, get the feathers off. If you end up having to take them in the house and get the rest of them off, that ain't no big deal. You can clean them up before you put them in the fridge. You want to put your meat in the fridge for about two days to three days somewhere around there to let the rigor mortis work out so it ain't tough and once you do that it ought to be good and tender and real good and tasty all right here's our final product of the eight quail we did for a good bit of meat and uh so we'll put this in the fridge for a couple days there's a lot of things you can do with this quail meat a lot of recipes you can find a lot of them online or on youtube is one but we hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you like what we're doing. And we'll try to keep y'all posted on some more things going on around here. Thank y'all for watching and God bless y'all.